this team looks like a juggernaut. So it begs the question, where is the weakness if they have any? So for, where is it? Where's the weakness? For you know, they're a complete team. But going into October, it's, it's World Series a bust when you win this much right. during the season. Uh, it never hurts to add another bullpen piece that can get the ball to, of course. to, Kimbrel. the, to Kimbrel. And uh, it's one of those things that they're so hot right now, you think this is going to carry on for the rest of the season. It's not. They're still going to have their ups and downs. I mean, I, I'm looking for them to have a you know, six or seven game slide. That's when the Yankees are going to have to pounce. But this team looked like they're, they're in it to win it. But I, you always can add another bullpen piece to get the ball to Kimbrel and, and, and close out ball games. The slide is not happening right now. Not they're at all. 25 <laughs> they're, and 5 they're, they're in their last fire 30. Right it, it's. It's incredible. Where's, where's the weakness for well, you? I, I think if there was a hole, they already addressed it in the signing of Ian, Ian Kinsler. I know he's banged up with, with the hamstring injury right now. Right. If you want to nitpick, you might be able to say that there might be a little bit of a hole at third base with Rafael Devers, but the kid's 20 years old. He's still trying to figure it all out. Seems like this team never loses. So I, I just think that for them right now, they're absolutely rolling, man. They are getting crucial hits from everybody up and down the lineup, from their role players, star players. And obviously, like we talked about, man, Chris Sale comes back. I think he's supposed to pitch on Saturday. Right. If Chris Sale and David Price are right for the postseason, I'm telling you what, man, that makes it difficult for anybody to compete with this team. Okay, so the, the one item that we didn't really hit on, rookie manager. Or, I mean, a Alex Cora, what's impressed you about how he has handled this season? What hasn't impressed you? Uh, what's your impressions of what Alex has done? I've known him since he was a kid. So mm -hmm. I played, his brother played second base with me in Chicago, always around. He he's a very smart kid, you know, very highly, highly educated, uh, knows his game, knows all the little particulars. He was bench coach last year with the Houston Astros, so he's not intimidated. He just did this last year with the Astros. So uh, he's, he's very confident. He's got this ball club very confident. They're going to be something to deal with in October. Well, there's no doubt. I mean, Alex Cora and Dave Dombrowski have done a tremendous job. I think the biggest move the Boston Red Sox have made this year was getting rid of Hanley Ramirez. Mm -hmm. As crazy as it sounds, you get rid of an unbelievable superstar player, mm -hmm. and it just seems like they got better. So I think that he has the love of the locker room. He has the love of the city. And when you have all that love swirling around, man, good things seem to happen, and that's exactly what's happening in Boston right now. I mean, in college football, we talk about Lincoln Riley being, like, the right? best offensive coach in, in the sport. Alex Cora seems like he's the best offensive coach in the sport. Look what he did with Houston last year. I know we never talk about it like that in baseball terms, but the two offenses that he's been involved with the last two years have been spectacular. He's sharp. He, trust me, he knows all of the small particulars. In the ball game, he pays a lot of attention to detail. I've known him since a kid. He's not surprising me at all, but he loves his game 24-7. He got two players in his lineup with OPSs <laughs> over 1,000, man. How hard is it to manage that? Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's go. 